que siempre esencialmente when Bouazizi immolated himself in Tunisia this is what the landscape was and the historical accumulation the message quickly became enough of ignoring our human dignity se fue we are citizens not pawns and we demand full recognition and rights we are what politics somos and what the state ought to be this is our message and from henceforth es, you will listen to us. In virtually all of these movements, the generational dimension en todos is fundamental. Estos movimientos it cuts across all parties. Cubre el, if you saw the Hadith Square, países. the Muslim Brotherhood youth marched los, and demonstrated si, with the demonstrators against the recommendations con los, of the Muslim Brotherhood leaders. It cut across affiliations. Young Copts los jóvenes coptos se unieron al movimiento en contra de la jerarquía copta. Lo mismo que el ejército también. También. Sentían solidaridad. Emotional empathy una empatía emocional his, uh, co and it cut across every single family parents did not familias. always understand but they followed Pero también seguían. in all these movements we en find some recurrent themes that would be just a way of summarizing them to uh, briefly cite them these young Estos men and women jóvenes, want dignity and good governance as they said quieren. they want freedom quieren and full citizenship they adhere to no party or to no, no ideology, and no in this sense, movement ideologic movement. There is no Islamism here, there is no nationalism here no in the classic sense, son but even if they are not, not retain, even if they do not fall in the fold of nationalism, so to say, they are extremely patriotic. They are patriotic. Son patrióticos y quieren construir un proyecto nacional sistemático sistemático en en los primeros días de la revuelta libia hemos visto el proceso sirio cómo movimientos esporádicos in the memory en la memoria de los These padres, Alawites and Sunnis los and Christians. aliados, so that dimension is extremely present and it's important to understand. They are Ay. unarmed and non-violent, or at least non they begin that way. And even more surprising, they do not seek power, except, of course, in the Libyan case, which is not just a conversation, it is now an armed insurrection and an armed conflict. We are not hence in the mode of the previous revolutionary moments of the 20th century, no somos como culminating de la, de la in the Iranian Revolution 70, of 1979, which brought, brought Ayatollah Khomeini to power. Tipo Khomeini, we can hope then, or there is reason to hope then, that this change of paradigm is irreversible. First of all, because it's a paradigm of new generation, and also because the existing regimes and even the traditional political parties e cannot mobilize using or resorting to the same slogan, respect of the elder, al a cultural los mayores, specificity, foreign plot, and so forth. O, o de Where the revolution has one significant Pero la victories, tenía una cosa we are moving towards a more democratic polity and a more democratic las political culture. But some Pero of the forces coming into play are not necessarily democratic themselves. Los, that is, los que uh, even if they a, claim a to accept elections, y no son necesariamente democráticas en sí mismas. Incluso cuando afirman que aceptan los principios básicos democráticos. Es la institucionalización de la democracia. Esto es lo de esa tercera vía. El resultado de esta transición pero lo que quiero decir es que avoid.
tenemos que apoyar the present situation la situación actual allows existing political forces to guide the transition These forces Estas include fuerzas, the army, the elites, the old regime, policía, Islamists, and also the old opposition, whether they are from the left or Islamists. They, these forces still disdain, many of these forces still disdain the kind of projects the youth want to put in place. In such a situation, one can easily tal, imagine the emergence of a party of order, or what I would call a part of party of order. Un, Partido de orden, un partido de orden that would be, uh, uh, that would try essentially que intenta esencialmente recomposer y congelar estos serían los buenos be, candidatos uh, islamist, para la primavera árabe which have personal interests, but que also tienen have intereses personales pero in the uh, they would include notables In Egypt, the term is FNDA, with uh, independent power bases. Poder, bases uh, independientes uh, in the region de poder. and in the Badia, that is in the, the outside of the cities, in the rural areas. Y la and of course, the business elite, which has resisted the old regime because of its uh, predatory un, reflexes, because of its predatory conflicts, but now feels that it's time for stability, and the only way to protect economic growth la and the only way to achieve la, economic el orden growth economico. be an end of contestation y and an end con la and avoidance of strikes. De These democratic... So... So this is the risk and it's very present. Entonces and we esto es el have to be aware presente. of it. To make this uh, democratic revolution permanent, then requires, I would say, two conditions. Existen that the social actors who form the movement, or the bulk of the movement, become political. La that is, either they form political parties, or themselves join other political forces, for crear un and craft coalitions and alliances. Una coalición, this, I would call, is vertical accountability. Lo llamaría, this is what will make the breakthrough happen and in store es que a democratic transition. The second condition, I would say, is that democracy be institutionalized. institutionalized. This is what I call horizontal sea uh, uh, accountability. The biggest danger to democracy El is not más de la that it be repressed es in the very early stages. The biggest danger for democracy is that it not delivered to the citizens. And for it to deliver, you need to have functioning institutions. You need to have a functioning judicial system. What happens in a transition is essentially you can gain your political rights. But if your judicial system does not work, if you go to the courts and your files cannot be handled, even if you're not deprived of those political rights, you are essentially denied your civil rights. If a government or if an executive cannot function with a no judiciary. That's what I call lack or breakdown in horizontal y por eso accountability. Yo llamo, eh, If horizontal, also you have the absence of any financial lado, institutions or any economic oversight that checks and balances the actions of the government, this is again another frena. breakdown. So the danger for democracy is for it to Así break down, not to deliver. And there is a propensity for new, emerging, un, nascent democracies una nueva to be excused, the term to be messy, and also to be confusing, with lack of an identifiability, and not to deliver. And this creates the danger for the emergence of all sorts of counter-reactions, people become disgusted with democracy and try to find new alternatives. So, for me, these are the two conditions. These democratic movements must also maintain their independence from foreign domination. They must maintain this patri patriotic indigenous identity. They are making a new democracy and must not appear as no the democracy. Ser. Eager to import turnkey models si from writing the constitution to fine-tuning a legal code. The recent model el of reciente, the American administration uh, in Iraq with the uh, pro-consul Bremer at its helm is exactly es the kind of thing that one must be avoided. If anything, it is the model one should avoid. Es el que de Much better to use 
mejor indigenous experts and professionals drawn from the lines of the civil de, service, the law, judges, the technocrats, su, the engineers, the administrative experts, para a los expertos, and to build this new political order. Para poder crear the diaspora este also político. has a role in this. It can also be a source of professional expertise, También puede as long ser as it does not become hecho por a way to locales. political establishments. Iraq is another example. People La coming in from the West, you know, the, uh, the cast of shady characters which have come both from the West and which have come from Iran. This is something we have to avoid. En, we now have, for example, many initiatives and institutions, both among the Arabs and the diaspora. One can think of the independent species like Al Jadalia, Al Jadalia and within the Arab countries themselves, conferences in Tunis and Cairo, sí which disseminate ideas, which nourish democracy, and which nourish dialogue, which itself seeps into the fabric en, en of society. society. One thing we should be particularly careful with is the theme of laicity, as the French would say, or its first cousin in the Anglo-Saxon world, secularization. There is a certain consensus in the region on Islam as a point of reference. And more and more voices are emerging to talk about Islam, converging on the same idea, whether it's Rashid al uh, uh, from Tunisia, or the Sheikh of Azhar, Ahmed Tayyib. This is not to say that we're talking about a religious state. On the contrary, de lo, que, que, consensus que is also emerging. An important language, which is, uh, uh, which is essentially a compromise, es and this language is converging over a very important concept, which is uh, al madaniya, the civil state. What does this mean civil. in the eyes of many? Well, as you know, for Como the secular sabe, left, it was separation of church es una and state. Del con for el, la iglesia. The religious establishment, or also el political el, el, uh, Islam, los meant the hakimiyah, or the sovereignty o la of soberanía. religion. Here we are emerging Aquí towards the consensus in which the term medani essentially means en the symbolic foundation of the constitution, Islam that serves as a symbolic foundation of the constitution, while not interfering in actual legislation and leaving Sharia out of the picture. Why hasn't the revolution succeeded everywhere? And I want to be careful here. I use revolution not as a destruction, systematic destruction or overthrow of every regime. I use revolution no here as a democratic breakthrough, as a positive, stable democratic outcome. Un, un, con un, que tenga un well, there are a few reasons for that. Bueno. Though the youthful energy we described above has been the initiator and impetus Como of this wave. Iniciador. There is specific national, Hay regional, nacional. and international forces which have come to play que and which need to be reckoned with. Like any historical process, the Arab Spring is devolving into Arabe? complex sets of conflicting struggles, compromises, que and conflicts political and independent que sean políticos e independientes. After being caught by surprise, regimes are now on the defensive. Regimes in the beginning, after the Tunisian and Egyptian revolution, felt this was essentially, took this as a, as a fatality. Now they're organizing and fighting orden. back. And the way to fight back is either, is either letting out some steam or uh, using repression. La the existence of a strong 